So listen to me. You're very careful. I want to preach really quick. Everybody say, you're right. <laughs> Pot it or plant it. Pot it or plant it. Go in and look at your neighbor and ask them, are you pot it? Or are you plant it? I don't got y'all to get somebody like, that boy, you can tell he's from Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Pot it or plant it. So before I start ministry, here's what I want to give you, which the Lord gave me in my study. Listen to me very carefully. Growth and comfort never can go together. No, 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 no. Growth and comfort can never go together. Watch. God cannot grow you and you stay comfortable. No, no, no. You, you can't. You can't. Most people never grow. You know why? You know why most people never grow? Because they refuse to get uncomfortable. Yeah, we live in a comfortable, watch this, generation. If it don't go our way, we get mad and we pack our bags and we go down the road. I'm preaching better than y'all acting. Yeah. If you don't like it, we tuck our tails and we just run. We need a generation that says that I'm serving God. No matter what people say, I'm going to raise my hands. No matter if they don't like the way I shout, I'm going to shout. No matter what's going on in your life, I come by today, 3145, Elkhorn Road, tell somebody, if you're listening, God is alive. God needs worship. God desires our worship. God needs us. Hallelujah. You say, Brian, no, he don't. Yes, he does. If God didn't need us, why did he create us? He created us to worship him. Hallelujah. I always ask the question, if God was going to write the 67th book of the Bible, would your name be in it? <laughs> I truly believe, listen, what you desire is what you'll be filled with. That's why some people come in here today desiring more. Desiring, desiring a closer walk with Jesus Christ. I, I, if you watch, the Bible says, if you, if you hunger and thirst for righteousness, you shall be filled. You shall be filled. You shall be filled. You shall be filled. And God, watch, wants to fill us. And listen, let me go ahead and squash this. It's not that we have more of God. It's that God has more of us. Y'all got me? You understand that? It's called sanctification, if you want a big theological word. Sanctification. Watch, it's a process. Watch, if you're here today, you should be stronger today than you was yesterday. We should be growing in grace and growing in Jesus Christ. God says, I want you to live in overflow. I get so tired of people giving God a hard time. God, don't have, you don't have to be here today. God did not have to wake you up today. But God chose you to be here right now in this atmosphere. Not for you just to sit there, but to give Him praise, honor, and glory. God, watch, watch. God's for us. The Holy Spirit is with us and in us. He's got great plans for us. So here's what I want to do. Psalms 1-3. Psalms 1-3. I love this one little verse. A lot of you already know it. But I'm excited to give you a word. You know why? Because this is what God thinks of you. How many of you know God is for us? Come on. God is for us. Listen, Elkhorn, God is for us. God don't want to see us fail. God don't want to see you. Listen, you know what they said? They said approximately 7,000 churches are going to close their door through this pandemic. One out of three has come back to church. I think it's time. Now, I'm not here for a hooray this morning. But I'm tell, I think it's time that the church be the church. We quote this, greater is he that is in us than he is in the world. Do we, y'all, come on. Do y'all believe that? Do, you, yo, do we believe that greater is he that is in me than he is in the world? That I am the head and I am not the tail. That God has blessed me going in and God has blessed me coming out. God is for us. 
Somebody say thank you. Yo, listen, we better be thankful that God's for us. Couldn't imagine if he was against us. Watch this. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalms 1-3, New Living Translation. Love this, love this. This is what God thinks about you when he sees you. We're going to give God some praise today. This is what God thinks about Brian Rafferty. This is what God thinks about you. He says, when I look at you, you're like a tree. Ooh, I feel <laughs> firmly planted by streams of living water. Bearing fruit in each season, every season. Where your leaves never fade. They never wither. And here's what he says. And they prosper in all they do. Somebody needs to receive that this morning. I'm going to read it again. Do y'all get this? God says, when I look at you, you're like a tree firmly planted by streams of living water, bearing fruit in each season where your leaves will never wither. They'll never fade. They'll never fall. And you'll prosper in all things that you do. Yeah, we're going to stop right there. Whether y'all like it or not, I'll praise him by myself. We got a God that when he looks at us, we're not, we're not slacking. We're not lacking. We're, he blessed us going in. He said, you're like a tree that's planted by streams of living water where your leaves never fade, where you bear fruit in every season and you prosper. Come on, church. He's worthy. He is worthy. He's worthy to be praised this morning. How many of y'all are blessed today? How many of y'all love him in here today? Why don't we just take five seconds? Come on, take five seconds and let's give God praise in here. Come on. Woo! Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Woo! Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you, yes? He's worthy. He's worthy. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. He's so worthy in this house today. Woo. Yeah, turn to your neighbor and say, you're at the right place at the right time. Woo. My God. You know, life has a way of burying you. I felt as I was preparing this, that some of you, you feel like instead of being planted, you're buried. Life has a way of burying you. Finances have a, has a way of burying you. Relationships have a way of burying you. Work has a way of burying you. And can I be honest? Church sometimes has a way of burying you. But God says, Brian, it is time to speak truth over my children you're not planet listen you're planet but you're not buried y'all got me you're planet not buried you're planet and not buried how many of y'all know the difference between a potted plant and a planet tree it's where God in the vein this is where God's got me now I, I'm not a big agriculture I'm not, but I studied this out. A potted plant, listen to me, I'm sure I feel the Holy Ghost. A potted plant grows in a container rather than the ground. Watch, a potted plant has limited growth. A potted plant can only grow as much as the container will allow it to grow. But a planted tree the way God looks at me, the way God looks at you. A planted tree is in the ground, in the soul, in the earth, and its roots can grow and grow. It has no, watch, it can continue to grow. It has no unlimited growth. And God says, when I look at you, I see a planted tree firmly planted in the ground where your roots can grow, where you can grow in Jesus Christ. That's what God says. I, when I look at you, that's what I see. That's what I see. 
So today, listen to me. I believe, and I'm gonna, I want to ask you this. Are you a potted plant? Or are you a planted tree? Come on. Are you a potted plant? Well, you're, you, you're here, but you're really not growing in Jesus. You're, you're, you've grown a little bit, but how many planted trees are here? Man, I'm, I'm growing. I'm growing in Jesus. I'm growing in grace. I look at things different the way I, I've, I've ever looked at them. The birds are not just chirping. They're singing. They're giving God's glory. When the wind's blowing, it's not blowing just to be blowing. It's blowing on purpose. When a storm's in my life, I don't look at it as a storm no more. I look at it as a promise that I got to get out of the boat and I can literally walk on water. I am a planted tree and I'm not going nowhere. I'm firmly planted in the souls of heaven. Woo! That's what I want to give y'all. Because some of you feel like you're buried. You're not buried. You're just planted. Listen to this. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. He says these words. I'm going to give this to you also. He said, not only are you a tree that's firmly planted by streams of living water, not not stagnant water. Y'all realize that the Holy Spirit is in conjunction with water? Do you realize that water is a symbol of the Holy Spirit? And he says, what I put in you is living. And you're like a tree that's got deep roots, living by streams of living water. You're not dead. You're alive. There's a purpose in your life. There's still a dream in your life. And God just stopped me by today to tell somebody, you are not buried. You are planted. You're planted. You're planted. He says also, and I love this. You will bear fruit in every season. Come on, somebody. You'll bear fruit in every season. Come on, somebody. You'll bear fruit in every season. Every season. Every season. Now listen, this one got this, this one right here really challenged me. Because I'm sitting there going, wow. Here's what I know. No natural tree bears fruit in every season. Y'all with me? So I say amen. But what he's saying is this. Brian, when you're in a relationship with me, when you have experienced me, and listen, I can honest to God say, I can when I'm preaching this today, I can honest to God tell you what I am preaching is true. It, it used to be so easy. Can I just be honest with y'all? It'd be so easy to get up here and give you three points and a benediction and go home and, and, and it seemed like hail was all at my door. I wanted to give up. I felt like I was buried. Am I preaching to anybody in here today? I felt like life was just over me and they was putting dirt on my life and it really didn't matter. But all of a sudden I seen a hand come up and said, God, I'm not dead. I'm truly alive. Lord, you're living in me, God. And you're like a lion that's roaring. And I need somebody here today. You are not buried. You are planted. He says, not only are you planted, you're going to bear fruit in every season. I don't know what y'all feel out there, but boy, my insides are shaking this morning. Here's what he means. When you're in a relationship with me, and I know, listen, I know what I hear from the world. And I know what I hear in counselings. I know what I'm hearing on the news. But here's what he's saying. When you're in a relationship with me, listen, you will bear fruit in every season. I'm on. <laughs> that means summertime, you're going to bear fruit. Wintertime, you're going to bear fruit. Fall and spring, you're going to bear fruit. Hallelujah. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. If you get laid off your job, you're going to bear fruit. If you leave me, you're going to bear fruit. Bad times, good times, good doctor's report, bad doctor's report. I'm a fruit bearer. I'm going to bear fruit in every season. You you talk about me. You throw me under the bus. You walk away from me. I'm going to bear fruit. You say, Brian, 
you're telling me that I can bear fruit in every season of my life. I didn't say that. He did. The Word of God said that. So listen to me. Church, you know what we can do right now? We can change the atmosphere. You know what we can do in South Central? I'm telling you, when somebody speaks death over your life, you can turn it around and say, no, 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 that's not my God's language. God don't speak death. God speaks life. In your marriage, you know what y'all can do? Instead of looking at all the bad things, God has blessed us. I know our corn's not perfect. I know we make tons of mistakes. But praise God, last Sunday, eight people got born again. We got baptism this morning. I praise God. I'm a tree that's planted by streams of living water. I bear fruit in every season, God. In the good times, in the bad times, no matter where I'm at, I'm going to bear fruit. Come on, somebody. And I don't know your story. I don't know where y'all are at. All I know is this. God said, no matter virtual school, y'all know what y'all can do in this season? We can turn, listen to me. Elkhorn, I'm your pastor. I love all these local churches, but I'm your pastor. We need to turn this around. We need to turn this whole thing around. And the Bible says where two or three come together, touching and agreeing that he'll be in the midst. God says, if I be for you, who can be against you? That greater is he that is in you than he is in the world. Am I preaching to anybody today that says, you know what, Brian? I feel like I was buried, but I feel a resurrection coming on. I feel like God is touching me right now. And I feel like God, I'm a tree. And I'm planted. I'm so planted in God. So, are you potted or are you planted? And God says these words. No matter what's going on, you're going to bear fruit. Listen, here's another powerful thing he said. Your leaves will never wither. Listen to me. I'm a tree. I'm planted by streams of living water. I will bear fruit in every season. Good, bad, ugly, I'm bearing fruit. And my watch, y'all may not like this sermon, but I'm telling you, it got me happy. My, my leaves will never wither. Woo! What does that mean? What does that mean? Listen, because the natural cycle of leaves on a tree, y'all know this, it's getting ready to be fall. What's the natural cycle for leaves? Leaves will change a different color. For the Holy Ghost. They'll wither up and they'll fall off the tree. So what God spoke to me was when things around you feel like they're withering up and everybody else is doing wrong and everybody else is doing the wrong things in life, I don't have to do that. When everybody else is falling apart, I don't have to fall apart. When everybody else, they say the first time marriages, at 55% are divorced, second time are 62%. I speak today, I curse that old spirit of divorce. I curse that old spirit of sugar diabetes and cancer and leukemia. I just need somebody to be a tree today that's planted by streams of living water. I know it don't look good. I know things may not look good in your life, but you are a tree planted by streams of living water. You bear fruit in every season. Your leaves never wither. They never fade. Watch this. What he told me was this. When everything else is falling apart, you can stay together. When everything else is falling apart, you can stay together. Lastly, he said this. And this is a word that has been abused. And the reason why it's been abused is because they've attached money to it. Now listen to me. God said, you are a tree planted by streams of living water. 
You will bear fruit in every season. Your leaves will never wither. They'll never fade. They'll never fall away from the tree. And you will prosper. Y'all better listen to this pastor. You better lean in and you better give God your ears right now. He wasn't talking about money. Now we are blessed. The, the average statistic says if you've got a dollar in your pocket, you are rich. I see a bunch of rich people here today. What he's talking about is a spiritual thing in your life. We got a lot of people that are spiritually bankrupt. We got a lot of churches that are spiritually bankrupt. You know why? They don't realize how rich they are in Jesus. They, they, they look at their church and they look at their staff and they look about everything around them. But y'all realize that if you are born again, if you are saved, if you're going to heaven, you are the richest person alive? Come on, y'all. I'm going to preach Jesus today. I'm going to preach salvation today. I'm not going to give the devil a chance today. He says, you will, you will prosper, hallelujah, in some things. Y'all help me. You will, listen, you will prosper in all things. You know what God told me? This is crazy. He said, <laughs> I'm just gonna, I wrote it down in my notes. So if somebody says something, I'm saying, listen, this is what God says. God says these words right here, what he told me. God says, I want to co-sign everything you do that lines up with my will. God didn't get that. He wants to co-sign everything that lines up to his will. Did y'all hear me? How many of you know that's the best co-signer you can have? Yeah, Jesus Christ. I want to co-sign everything. I just wonder, I'm going to say this. We're trying to get out of debt by December 27th. <laughs> I firmly believe a lot of times the reason why God may not allow stuff to happen is because there's a lot of death talk. Can y'all imagine if all of us come together, touch it, and agree, and go ahead and thank God that the check has already been co-signed, the check has already been delivered, and we are debt-free. Come on, somebody. See, I'm telling you, right now, if you're, if you're sitting there going, I don't believe all that, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to people that believe you are a tree planted by streams of living water. That I know if they not look good in your life right now, you may think you're buried, but really you're just planted. God's getting ready to explode in your life. There's going to be a spiritual birthing at Elkhorn Baptist Church. And I'm declaring today, under the influence of the Holy Ghost, there will be a revival in South Central Kentucky. God will use this church to birth something like never before. But you got to be open. you got to be you got to be open. you got to be like a tree. I'm not going to wither. I'm not going to back up. I know who I believe in. I know what I stand for. And I'm not wavering. you got to know who you are and who you belong to. And my daddy ain't poor. My daddy owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Come on, somebody. He owns mansions. Hallelujah. The streets are not paved. They're gold. Hallelujah. You say, Brian, you just get too happy. I ain't going to hell. And when I get, when we get to heaven, I'm going to look over at y'all and I'm going to say, I told you so. I told you so. Now, if your man's only got one bedroom, don't be hating. <laughs> Y'all are funny. He said this. Everything. Everybody say everything. What's everything mean? God said, everything you do will prosper in my name. Listen, don't fight me. I'm just being a messenger of the word today. Couldn't it be the reason why some of you feel busted and disgusted is because you've not given God really the glory that he deserves. Everything you do with God 
can prosper in Jesus' name. Here's what I wrote. Yo, I'm almost done. I'm almost finished. Here comes the plane. Most of us, listen, here's so good. Most of us are not planted in a place where we can grow roots. Huh. If you're not producing fruit, it's because you have no root. This is going to preach. This is going to preach. If you have root, you'll produce fruit. I did not say that. Jesus Christ did. So listen, what if I said this? Whatever you're rooted in is what you're producing. Come on, somebody. How many of y'all are rooted in Jesus? Come on. Don't be ashamed of him. I'm like a tree planet. I'm not going to sit there and go, well, I'm not raising my hands, Brian. I'm just not doing it. I'll raise my hand for you. I'm rooted in him. Now listen to this. Whatever you're rooted in, come on, is what you're producing. Uh, listen to me. Whatever you're rooted in, how can people act like that? It's what they're rooted in. It's exactly right. Let me give y'all something to shout about. <laughs> You want to see an angry person? You want to see an angry person? This is, you know, they're rooted in unforgiveness. Yeah. Why is Christians so mean? They've always been mean. <laughs> y'all, y'all okay? Listen, they've always been mean. Could it be the reason why they're mean is what they're rooted in? I'm gonna make y'all think a little different this morning. If they're rooted in unforgiveness, they're gonna be mean as a Mississippi squirrel. Y'all know when a squirrel went berserk, right? Y'all me get song. I'll sing it to you if y'all want me to. I'm joking. You wanna see a loving, caring, joyful, giving person? They're rooted in Jesus. Whatever you're rooted in is what you're producing. Whatever you're rooted in is what you're producing. Whatever you're rooted in is what you're going to produce in. I'll leave you with this. Trees, watch it. <laughs> Trees are not planted. Seeds are. Woo. Trees are not planted. Seeds are. Let me show you all something. So my good buddy Scott Hoard educated me a little bit. This is an acorn. Or if you're from Kentucky, it's an acorn. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get to this point. Everybody say acorn. See, that's y'all. Now everybody say acorn. <laughs> that's what it is. Y'all really know what this is? It's an oak tree. Try to feel the whole. An oak tree can get 100 foot tall and 50 foot wide. Drew, I'm holding it. I am holding an oak tree in my hand. I'm going to say this until y'all get this because some of y'all going, no, you're not. It's just a little seed. It's an acorn, Brian. It's an acorn, Brian. You're in denial. No, you are in denial. I'm telling y'all under the unction of God here today it's how you look at things God never took a tree and just uprooted it and said I think I'm going to plant it here he put a seed in the ground for the roots to grow I'm holding an oak tree Jimmy it's a hundred foot tall and fifty foot wide it's a mighty oak tree planted by streams of living water I'm just telling you Elkhorn in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we're holding an oak tree. It's so hard to believe, Perry. I am holding an oak tree. Madeline. silly. I 
I don't care what they think. Um, I don't think you realize what's in you. You are a beautiful child of God. And you are a tree that's planted by streams of living water. You will produce fruit in every season. Your leaves will not fade. And everything you do will prosper in Jesus' name. You are an oak tree. Take that. You're an oak tree. You're an oak tree. Come on, she's an oak tree. You're an oak tree. You're an oak tree. You're an oak tree. You're an oak tree. You say, Brian, that's silly. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to her. If we don't wrap our hands around this next generation, if we don't give them a platform to use their gifts and to use what God has given them, I see an oak tree in here today. I feel a mighty rushing wind blowing in this place today. I see roots that are rooted deep in the soils of heaven. And it is time. I make a declaration today. It is time to take South Central and say, God, this is your city. We're blessed to be a seed in the city. And God, we're not going to refuse. We're not going to back down. We're coming over drugs. We're coming over alcohol. We're going to do it all. Because God, you said, I am a tree. Somebody give God praise in here today. I'm almost done. Come on. You're an oak tree here today. You're an oak tree here today. You're not just a little seed. You're an oak tree here today. God wants to bless you here today. You've got to believe what I'm preaching. You've got to believe this. Listen to me. There comes a time you've got to quit saying, I, I, I'm just playing church. You are the church. Everybody knows what's wrong with the church. What's right with the church? Tell y'all what's right. You're getting ready to see a baptism. Elkhorn's is ninth in the state of Kentucky. In bad, you say, Brian, boy, you're bragging. The Bible says, if you boast, you boast in the Lord. If you boast, we can't save nobody. We can't deliver nobody. But I know a man <laughs> that can. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I'm telling you, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. If he done it for Peter, he'll do it for Brian. If he done it for John, he'll do it. Hallelujah. He'll do it for you. wrap this up uh, God said you have to plant the seed listen before you get the fruit of the tree I'm preaching to somebody you got to plant the seed before you get the fruit of the tree you got to plant the seed before you get the fruit of the tree let me go ahead and just tell you this here's what I'm talking about <laughs> it's really called seed time harvest seed time harvest everybody say that seed Time. Time. Yeah, y'all, y'all, you decide it's really good over here. And harvest. Seed time harvest. Seed time harvest. And ladies can, ladies can testify to this more than a man can. When a woman gets pregnant by the seed of the man, you got nine months. Ten, really, yeah. I told you when she need she need to be a hair, you know what I'm mean? saying? Ten. You don't get to see that seed at first. Nine months, ten months before you have the harvest. And as bad as it gets in the delivery room, somebody say, I know about that preacher. When your wife looks up at you and says, I'll kill you. How many women are in the house today? You can testify. You wanted to kill your husband, what he done to you. Oh, it's okay, y'all. Good God. Isn't it funny? Never mind. I'm not going to go there. We're just going to have a sex education class really quick. We're not. Everybody's like, shut up, Brian. Preach. Amen. Seed time harvest. Everybody say that. Seed time harvest. Come on. Seed time harvest. Yo, look, it takes time to have a healthy marriage. It takes time to have a healthy church. Come on. You know why? 
There's 131 churches in, in Taylor County. They don't give them time, man. Everybody goes to the greatest and the, the light shows. And everybody does all this stuff. They, they, don't, they don't take root. They don't give God time to grow them where they're at. I would not be your pastor today. I thought I was ready to preach. Oh God, thank you Jesus for protecting me. 1999, I thought I was ready to be a pastor. And I, I, there's people out here that's heard, I'm telling you in the long, I struggled, still struggle. But here's what I know, in time, everybody say time, you'll birth what's in you. You'll birth what's in you. You'll birth what's in you. It takes time to have a healthy youth ministry. It takes time to have a healthy children's ministry. It takes time to have a healthy church, healthy marriage, healthy children. It takes time. You know why a lot of times our dreams get aborted? You know why a lot of times that seed gets aborted? I'm going to tell you something. I'm preaching better. Look, listen to me. Because we live in an Instagram and a microwave generation. Where we think we can just pray and put some miracle grow on the prayer. And the next morning, boop! The next morning, boop! Every, boop, boop, there it is, you know, boop, there it is, you know. <laughs> Y'all done got all serious, though. So we live in an Instagram microwave generation. Well, we honest to God think, I'm going to pray and I'm going to put some miracle grow on my prayer. And when I wake up in the morning, what if God says, uh, Jesus, you're not going to start your ministry until you're, until you're 30 years old. What if he says, Moses, you're going to be 80. See, listen to me. Everybody Everybody wants to burst something. But here's what I'm trying to say. Listen, this generation, we, we don't like this word, but seed, time, harvest. Seed, time, harvest. It takes time. It takes time. You're going to get mad. You're going to get upset. You're going to want to walk away. You don't want to give up. So am I talking to anybody here today? God, you know God gave you a seed. You know God gave you a promise. But you're in the middle of the time session right now. And you don't like the season you're in. But I've come by today to tell you, you are planted and not buried. The only thing that can completely take a tree out is not having roots. Woo! I got shut up. The only thing that can take a tree out is not having roots. So let me ask y'all a question. Here we are. We're done. I'm going to pray and we're going to see a baptism and then we're we'll going to an invitation. Are you potted or are you planted? Are you a potted plant? Or are you a planet tree? Let me ask them, y'all ready? Here we go. Listen, you got to ask yourself this. Do you have roots this morning? Listen, you know why churches, this is, I'm on, I'm, listen, you may not like this kind of preaching, but it's true. You know why people don't stay at church? They don't have root. At some point in your life, you got to say, God called me. I'm rooted. I'm planted. I may not like things, but I'm a tree planted by streams of living water. And I'm going to bear fruit in this season. My leaves are not going to fade. And I promise you, when everything's said and done, watch this. I'm going to prosper. I told Dana this, and I'll tell you this. Y'all know where I'm at. Me and Dana Rafford is going to make it. We're going to make it. You know why? We're rooted. We're rooted. Come on. We're rooted. God gave me that little gal. She's my gift. 
She's the cream in my coffee. Hey. The apple in my eye. All right, y'all ain't doing nothing. Do you have roots this morning? Are you firmly planted? Are you, are you a potted plant or a planted tree? If you stay, watch. If you stay long enough, God will do the work that he needs to do in you. Bottom line. How many of y'all believe what I'm preaching today? Somebody give God praise in here. Amen. Before we go forward. I declare this over your life. Y'all ready? When God looks at you, when God looks at you, not Brian, when God looks at you, he says, you are a tree firmly planted by streams of living water. You will produce fruit in every season. Your leaves, watch, will never fade, never fade. And you will prosper in everything that you do. Compliments of the greatest name that I know, Jesus.